Hi, this is uh, Ken Torino, the president of uh, KTOR Company. And in this video, uh, we're gonna uh, answer one of the questions that we get the most frequently, which is at what rate do our devices uh, charge, for example, cell phones? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's probably one of the toughest tests, is we're gonna bring a cell phone back from the dead and we're gonna use our hand crank and the pedal generator would work the same way, but of course it's much easier to pedal than it is to hand crank. Uh, then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, with meters that in fact the, the, our hand crank charges at exactly the same rate as plugging in the wall outlet. Um, and then at the very end, uh, we'll show you some other products uh, made by other companies uh, just briefly and so you can understand the difference between the two. Thank you very much. One of the most common questions that we get is at what rate does the, uh, the KTOR hand crank ch charge at? Um, and the answer is it charges at exactly the same rate as plugging a wall outlet. So uh, this gets a little technical, but we're going to demonstrate that. What I have here is a, a cell phone. And in order to measure the power flow accurately, we've actually cut into the USB cord and hooked up a couple of meters. Uh, this one's volts and this one's amps. Uh, and power is volts times amps. So we have the measure of the power flow uh, going into it. So um, here we go. So you can see with uh, the KTOR, 4.35 volts, um, 300 milliamps. I plugged it into a wall outlet now and you get basically the same reading. It's uh, 4.5, 4.4 and uh, the current is basically the same, 290 milliamps. It's giving the same voltage, but the current is substantially less. And that's because it's, uh, you know, it's a much smaller generator. This is one of the most uh, popular combination emergency radio flashlights uh, and hand cranks uh, on the market. And if you compare it um, between ours and theirs, um, one of the most important things is to note the hand crank. Now we did a fair amount of experimentation on the length of the, of the crank. We tried it longer and we tried it shorter. And uh, we also did it on the hand grips. So we find that it's important to grab it with your hand, right? And also to have a length so that you can crank with it, again, using your arm and not your fingertips. If you look with theirs, you have to grab it with your fingertips. And also, if you look at the arm, the arm doesn't lock in place. And it's also at an angle. Ours locks in place. The handle also has a couple of degrees of rotation in it. So it isn't going to stress this little shaft right here as you twist it around. One of the reasons ours is as big as it is, is that's the size of the generator. These are typically 2 watts. And these are tip this is a, a 10 watt generator. So I'm gonna crank on this thing for a while. Uh, I won't be able to go uh, for that long, but I'll go as long as I can, and I tend to start getting a blister on my thumb from gripping it right here. And then I'll take a break, and I'll try and cumulatively go for about four or five minutes. One of the reasons bringing a cell phone back from the dead is a very, very difficult uh, application is because uh, cell phones aren't just phones their um, computers and so when they start up they go through a, a, a program startup like a computer they turn on the radio they turn on the processor they turn on the display um, and they use quite a lot of power uh, in that startup cycle and one thing I, I should mention uh, is that in the instructions on this unit uh, they did say that you shouldn't go too fast or you'll overheat the generator and that you shouldn't go for more than two minutes at a time or you'll uh, overheat the generator. We're gonna try and go for another two minutes. Again, it's uh, a little tough because the generator is uh, overloaded. 
I should note that in the uh, uh, you know instructions for these things, they don't really claim they can do this, bring a cell phone back from the dead. But uh, we felt in an emergency hand crank generator, there are two things that were really important. And one would be able to bring a cell phone back from the dead. And the second one is to be able to live on a hand crank basically forever.